Hello everyone. Today I come to bring you sad news. Jeremiah Jones from Houston was arrested on Tuesday and charged with shooting his ex-girlfriend's nine-year-old daughter. Brittany Sorrells, his ex-girlfriend, accused him of shooting her in the arm and shooting her daughter. Kylie Sorrell in the head two times around 9.50 p.m. Sorrell said that she broke up with Jones nearly two months ago. However, he showed up at her apartment asking for her to take him back. Sorrell's refused to take him back, and that's when he snatched the TV off the wall and messed up the apartment. After that, he asked for the cell phone to see who she was communicating with. Then he noticed that she was texting someone else. She claims that he became furious and retrieved his gun. Next, he allegedly shot the mom and the daughter. Unfortunately, the daughter did not survive. Two other children were in the house as well. One of the children was seven, and the other one was one years old. When he was on the run, he contacted Fox News and told the reporter that he was innocent. Let's take a look at what he had to say. Jeremiah, let me ask you, did you shoot your ex and her nine-year-old daughter? No, ma'am. As a manhunt is underway for 22-year-old Jeremiah Jones, he spoke with me on Zoom, telling me he wasn't there at his ex-girlfriend's apartment and saying he did not do it. But why would his ex-girlfriend tell police he's the one who opened fire on her and her daughter? Honestly, ma'am, I really don't I really don't know. I'm just trying to get all of this to resolve. I'm trying to, because I was at a gas station on camera uh, minutes before they say, within probably like 15 to 20 minutes before they even say, said that this happened. Houston police say it was just before 10 p.m. Monday when Jones's ex-girlfriend says he burst into her northwest Houston apartment. There was a short struggle and, sh and the kids stayed in the bedroom and she was out in the living room. And before she was even shot, he went directly to the bedroom and for the most part executed this nine-year-old girl. Jones's ex-girlfriend ended up shot in the shoulder and was rushed to the hospital where she's expected to survive. Her nine-year-old daughter was shot and killed. Houston Police Chief Troy Finner says, quote, this senseless act of domestic violence hits home for me and the HPD family. That sweet child was a member of our Police Activities League program. What I do not get is why would he shoot the daughter first and then shoot the mom if the daughter was in the room. I don't get it. Here is the rest of the interview with the reporter. I have no reason to hide. I have no reason to hide. I'm, I'm going to turn myself in. I just want my lawyer to get all the proper documents for me. Minutes after her child's death, she posted messages from her ex and her. This is what it said. You have made me life, that's what she said, miserable since we been together you put me through so much man leave me alone bro i can fix everything are you serious Brittany? you don't constantly cheat on somebody you live and want to marry or keep hurting them bro i haven't cheated wtf please leave me alone please man bye bro i told you i would give you my passwords bye jay please don't do me like this so those were the text messages, you guys. And then she posted, I'm over it. This is too much for me, man. I can't deal with this. That just text showing what type of end he is. He need help for real, for real. Our relationship had nothing to do with my child. You should have killed me. You had the gun pointed at my head. Why you didn't pull it? Shaking my head. You are a coward. Then she goes on to say, how could you do this to me? How could you hurt my baby? Somebody I love so much because I didn't want to be with you. So you come and try and kill me and kill my baby. You are sick. I'm sick to my stomach. Please stay away from these crazy A-ends. Please, like my heart is broken. I'm torn into pieces. I lost a part of me. I can never get back. I will never be the same again. Justice for Kylie. I love you, baby. 613. After that, she writes, how can you sit on here and say I threaten you when I got over 15 police reports from you stalking my house? Blank my car up, harassing me, blowing my phone up and popping up at my house. That give you the right to shoot my daughter? At this point, you guys, I do not know who to believe. What do you think happened? Do you think the mom is innocent or do you think the, the um, ex-boyfriend is innocent? Let me know in the comments. But it kind of reminds me of this other case when the lady put her kids in the stove. It's called the Lamora Williams story that happened in Atlanta, Georgia. 
Let's listen to her um recording, audio recording from the police station. Ma'am, ma'am, I have a, I have a question, and this is a serious matter. Um, I just left um my cousin in the house mm-hmm. with the with my kids. Um, she just left my kids in the house when I came back from work, mm-hmm. and my kids, two of my kids, are dead. What what am I? What do I? What do I gotta do? They dead. She left them dead in the house by themselves. Oh, okay, ma'am. Where are you now? I'm in my house. She left my door open. My baby boy, my oldest baby boy, is the only one that's here. The only one that's alive. She left. She let them left them in the house by themselves. She left them in here, and they knocked okay, the old so- phone. They were. Can you listen? I, when I came in, the stove was laying on my friends. I don't know what to do. I just came home to work from this. Okay, this is my baby thing. Okay, ma'am, I'm I'm gonna get EMS and I'm gonna get um police and fire at the at the location. Can you tell me where you're located? Um, 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 ma'am, I can't even talk. This is so serious. I'm so scared. In reality, she was the one who killed her children. Now let's take a look at this video. It's in the evening to find the one and two year old dead. But police say that's not true. We're told Williams called two people that night, including the boy's father. The father says she video called him and showed him the gruesome scene. Brenda Williams is Lamora Williams' mother and says her daughter struggles with mental health issues. I just came from the jailhouse to let them know to put her in suicide watch because she's going to kill herself. When I seen my kid, how I seen my kid, that when I knew what was going on. This picture shows an oven being taken away from the apartment in the back of a truck. Police say the boys had burns on their bodies. We expect to learn new details about the case in court today. Meanwhile, the father told us his surviving son, a three-year-old, saw his mother allegedly kill his brother. Her family said when she was younger, she would cut the heads off the doll, attempt to cut her wrist and her sisters. The mom said she tried to get help from the state. Her mother even pulled her out of school at some point. In the case with Lamora, her boyfriend had left her three months prior to her killing her children. Some people just can't handle breakups, but don't kill an innocent child. Just take them to someone you trust or seek help. The Lamora Williams story took place in October of 2017. Do y'all see any similarities between both of these stories? Or is it just me? Let me know in the comments what you think about both stories. The Lamora case and the Jones case. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.